everyone, Molly from Molly's Artistry. I am back. This one's a little flimsier, so I can't really hold it up that well, but so that's how it looks right now, but I'm gonna set it up in my cup. Someone asked to see how I layer them, and I just did another pour, but it, I lost my rose center off the edge, so I've gotta pour more in the center. I've gotta be mindful of that. Um, so again, the white will go under all of the cups. And then this is a rose pour, so I'm gonna do some red in that one. And I like doing them across from each other. And then I'm gonna do some black. So I'll do this, I'll layer these sides first. I'm trying to pour down the side so that they don't mix together too much. You want them to kind of sit on top of each other for this type of pour. Then I'll have my brown. Save some for the other cups. I've got a little bit of barn red here. Just a more muted red. And I'll do a little more black. I really like that black contrast. Then I'll go back in with the metallic red. a little more pouring medium in my red just to make it stretch out a little bit more. You can always do that because the consistency, you don't want it to be too thick on these anyway. So I just put a little bit more in there. That side is, and I had too much paint so I may not even go all the way up to the top on this guys. But I'm gonna do a little bit more gold. And then little bit more red. I'm just, these are a little bit flimsier, so just holding those up. Okay, so something that just happened that you guys should be aware of is that as I was pouring into these two, because before I poured two colors, two colors, two colors, two colors, the colors have now been growing up through here on these sides because these are not connected. So we'll see how this pour comes out. The next one that I think I'm gonna do is of just one down the center of the cup and see if I can get kind of a similar paint kiss, but just from Ooh, cool. just from a one cup. A little bit more black in this one. Okay, now I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna try to take this out. So, can you guys see in there the different colors? I don't know, though it's kind of dark. So, now I'm just gonna. Move that out. That's now what my cup looks like. I'll try to stay in the center this time. I'm trying to get some big rings to start. And then once my white starts coming out of the cup, there it goes, that I'm gonna do some smaller rings. Just kind of layering around them, kind of like a rose does. Okay, there's my red, there's my white, so I'm gonna start doing some smaller circles. You really gotta take your time with these guys because 
pouring them out of the cup. You know, people are like, oh my gosh, why did I fail? It's like, you gotta take your time. If you really want those rings to be pronounced, do you see how many times I'm going around on this? I mean, I could have dumped that cup out of there a long time ago, but I really want some pronounced cells here. I mean, cells, rings. I feel like the most important part of a, tr of a tree ring pour or any type of ring pour is the last little bit. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I get so excited about this stuff. <laughs> So that is what my ring looks like right now in the center. And then as I spread that out, my hope is that it will spread out and create that flowery technique. All right, let me get you centered again. Okay. We've got all the sides in there. All right. Okay. Here we go, my friends. So I definitely had more pronounced rings on this one. This one is kind of how I did my wood tree ring pour. Okay, so see, I can already tell something is there. Yep. You see how you can always tell that something is right there? If your paint starts acting funny, there's something there. Don't know this right here. Yep, there's something right there as well. Okay, that probably just came from the cardboard in there. Let me see if I can salvage. But these tiny little lines came from me taking my time with the pour. Okay, I got that crazy part over this side, but I don't want to lose the rose or whatever this is in the center. So there was a lot more black in this one. And before I stretch this out anymore, I'm gonna see if I can get this line of gold. There we go. And then these lines right here just went kind of wonky, so I may try to spread over that way a little bit more, but. Oh man, I really like this one. It may not have been a rose, but wow, this one's really cool. Oh, I almost dropped it. This was a good amount of paint. I know that you guys probably can't see that very well. I want that to go over that side. Then I'll stretch it back down. I still want that to go over the side. Okay, now here we go. Bringing it back. A lot more of the gold showed up in this one, which is fine. You're never going to be able to get these exactly. Okay, that's it. All the paint's off the canvas. That one's really cool. It looks like I'm jumping into a wormhole. So I think on my next one, I mean, I'm going to keep perfecting these. I may not do them as videos. You guys don't have to watch me do them all. But I think on my next one, what I'm going to do is see how those... Those got really pronounced there, so I'm gonna do some small ones to start, some big ones in the middle, and then some small ones again. So, you learn with every single pour. So let me take you down so you can see. Let me just see what I can do with this right there. There we go. So a little 
bit of hazy lines in there. I really like the center though. Wipe my hands off. And I taped my sides, so I don't have to worry about that. I'll put all the information in the bottom for what pouring medium I used and all that stuff. So, here we go. If you guys want to perfect a ring pour, I'm telling you, look at that. Look at that center. Wow, that has so much depth in it. I mean, it really looks like the folds of something. It's amazing. Got a little bit more muddiness in cells than I wanted. That was that black and that gold. My lines on the side, not the best, but wow, that center. I mean, I don't know if I could paint that much better. Amazing. All right, you guys. There we go, here's the whole picture panned out. A little bit more brown than red on this one, a little bit more white. Um, but I like it, I like it a lot. All right, you guys, have a good night, bye.